Hey there, Bulldog fans, and thank you for watching Hell State TV. This is Meet Your Bulldogs. I'm Josh Cook, alongside Kendall Graveman, Mississippi State senior starting pitcher and leader. And Kendall, we'll get right into things. Uh, you're actually a mechanical engineer, is that right? I am. Uh, How do you manage to keep up with baseball? I know that's a massive workload in itself. You're a three-time SEC all-academic honor roll student. Uh, how do you keep up with baseball in school and manage to do really well in both? Right. Well, freshman year, I, I didn't do as well keeping up with both. And mm -hmm. I think the further I've, I've come in school, the, the, more, uh, the more I've had to study and also the more I've had to manage my time. Um, free time is, is something that I don't have a lot of. Mm -hmm. But um, I say the biggest difference has been uh, on the weekend sometimes uh, maybe not hanging out with friends and having to study on a Saturday night or a Friday night. And, right. um, and I know that in order to get that plaque of uh, academic all SEC, then, then I have to work hard at it, and it's not going to come easy. But it's something I want to challenge myself with. I have to give you major props on that, being able to, to come you. home with such uh, nice awards like that. Because I know keeping up with baseball is, is in, impressive in itself. Right. And you've had some great seasons here at Mississippi State. But also keeping up in the classroom, I know it's a, a very difficult major right. in, in itself. And you're, you're a senior pitcher. You're one of the leaders on this team. You're actually a co-captain, along with Wes Ray. Talk about being a, a leader for these guys. And this is a team that's got a lot of talent on it but being able to be a guy that they look to for advice and someone to come to and talk to. Right. Well, I think um, as far as being a leader, in my mind, actions speak a lot louder than words. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to go about my business the right way, and I think that um, them seeing me as a junior last year do that, I think that kind of is the reason why I got voted uh, co-captain along with Wes Ray. And Wes is also a great um, co-captain mm -hmm. alongside me, and he has some great input on some things that we have to talk about some days. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that I feel uh, actions and I need to work hard. And because if you if you speak and don't act, then sometimes it doesn't have a good as good of an effect. That's definitely a tremendous honor being a, a captain of such a prestigious baseball team with right. Mississippi State and the program that we've had over here over the years. Uh, and last year you had a 281 ERA on the season. How do you improve on an already good numbers? I know in the SEC play you had a lower ERA than that with 2.77. Right. But just how do you improve uh, when you've been putting up such consistent numbers as a whole? Well, over the few, I mean, my first year I had a, a 7 ERA. So, mm -hmm. and then my second year I had, uh, I think it was like a 4 or 5, and, mm -hmm. and last year it was a 2 8. But um, the experience that I've gained over the past three years is something that um, you can't replace any other aspect. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you can get better, you may throw harder. You may have better secondary pitch, but I think the experience is the thing that has helped me lower my ERA over the past three years, and um, I don't expect it to change this year. Um, I've set goals for myself. I, I set pretty high goals, and and one of my goals is to get below that 2.8 ERA. And in order to do that, like you said, maybe the non-conference games, I need to um, perform a little better because SEC games, you know, your mental aspect is a little bit sharper than maybe sometimes in a non-conference game. but. Um, I think that's one focus that I have going into this year is to pitch better in non-conference. Well, SEC obviously is the toughest league in the right. country. Uh, it was, I thought that was extremely impressive that you had a lower ERA in SEC right. games and non-conference games. So uh, you really got rolling as the season went yeah. along. And, and last year we lost Chris Stratton to the first round of the MLB draft. Uh, talk about stepping up and possibly being a Friday night guy uh, in the SEC this year, or does it really matter to you when you pitch, whether it be Friday, Saturday, Sunday? I know you've done a little bit of everything. Right, and uh, I think it doesn't matter to me, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I've talked to Coach Thompson, and I've told him uh, multiple times, whatever I can do to help this pitching staff is, is what I need to be doing. And if that means pitching on Saturday to try to clinch a series or to try to get uh, the first win of the series or pitching on Sunday, um, it doesn't matter to me. Um, each game is important in the SEC when we get there. Mm -hmm. So um, the starter for each Friday, Saturday, and Sunday game has, has a very important role, and I don't think one is more important than the other. So with that being said, I think we're losing Chris. We have guys this year that are going to step up that maybe you saw at the end of last year, such as Brandon Woodruff, Jacob Lindgren, Evan Mitchell, a lot of those guys who gained some experience as freshmen and sophomores that are really going to step up and have an impact on this team. I think that's one of the most exciting things about the team this year is that we have such a deep pitching staff. We had uh, second lowest ERA in the country last right. year, and we lost Chris, we lost Caleb, but we still got you coming back as a senior and a, a bunch of good young arms who can really right. step up. So I guess in, in the end it doesn't really matter because we're going to be throwing out good pitchers at any time. 
and, and throughout the course of the season, I know there's going to be some rain delays. What actually goes on? Could you tell us what some insight, what, what goes on in the clubhouse? <laughs> I know I think a lot of people think of people playing cards and running around pulling pranks on each other. Right. What, what happens in the clubhouse then? I know one game we had a, we had a rain delay and we set up trash cans in the, in the locker room and, and played horse like mm -hmm. it was a basketball goal. Um, sometimes if we know players from the other team, we'll ride on a baseball if we're both sitting in the uh, dugouts and we'll throw a baseball over with a, a quote or, you know, asking somebody a question if you grew up with them. For instance, uh -huh. if I know somebody from um, Alabama that plays on um, Alabama's team, mm -hmm. I can write something to them. So little things like that, uh, jokes, um, Ross Mitchell and Evan Mitchell both like to um, they like to rap and, oh, and yeah. make up freestyles about each other. So I've that's pretty funny. Ross's yeah. videos dancing on <laughs> yeah. YouTube and things like that. So for the most part, it's just a fun type. It is. It's kind of relaxed. It's, it's not to be uptight because mm -hmm. we know that once the game starts again, we'll be focused. And that's one thing that this team, team's able to do is to turn off the switch of focus. And then when the game starts again is to get back focused. Absolutely. Uh, your first year, you were, we only won six SEC games. Just how much or how far has this team come in the last few years? Because we started off very slow in John Cohen's tenure. We were rebuilding a little bit. But and looking forward to this season, uh, just how far has this team come and you personally? Right. Um, you know, my freshman year, like you said, won six games in mm -hmm. conference. And I don't think a lot of people were buying in what the coaches were telling us. It wasn't anything to do with the coaching staff, what they were teaching us, because what they were teaching us then is what they're teaching us now. I just know this whole team is bought into what Coach Cohen, Coach Thompson, Coach Mignon, now Coach Wells, Coach Dry, everybody is um, is bought into what they're believing. And when you get somebody, when you get a team on the same page as everyone else, then that's when you start to win a lot of games. Um, you don't have any people trying to do their own individual stats. Everybody's trying to play as a team. And I think that my freshman year, we had talent. I mean, there was no lack of talent. Uh, this year is the same situation, but I think we have the pieces on this team to to perform a little better than, than my freshman year. That's a great philosophy to have. We've got a lot of great coaches and players right. here. Looking forward to a great season from you. Thanks for stopping by, Kendall. And until next time, and look forward to a great year and Thank Mississippi you. State as a whole. Hopefully we can go a long way. But for Meet Your Bulldogs, I'm Josh Cook. For more information, you can visit HellState.com on the Mississippi State baseball team and all sports. Thanks for joining us.